So hey guys, I'm changing the name of my channel. I'm gonna tell you why. When I first came up with my little talk travel eat project, my life was completely different than it is now. I was working full time as a cancer nurse and basically all of my free time was spent researching <laughs> travel. I would literally work, 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 plan trips, we'd get off on those trips and go on those trips and then we would repeat the cycle and that's pretty much how we lived for a lot of years during that time i was stressed out all the time but of course i thought i was always cool calm and collected you know grace under pressure that was me that's what i was known for but Really, my jobs were always extremely stressful and heartbreaking at the same time, which is not a good combination for an overthinker and an overworrier. Since I'm no longer working and we've reduced our income significantly, we've also had to change our lifestyle. And the biggest casualty of our former lifestyle is travel. Uh, travel as we knew it. So back to my little project, Talk, Travel, Eat. Uh, Basically, I came up with the name because that's what I like to do. I mean, the travel and the eat are self-explanatory, right? Today, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the talk part. Now, I grew up in a time when children were seen and not heard. Uh, completely different than it is today. Uh, children only spoke when spoken to. Uh, those habits stayed with me into the corporate world. Uh, before I became a nurse, I worked in corporate legal, in support roles, roles without a voice. When I decided to change careers and become a nurse, one of my criteria was to find a job where I could just kind of hang around and talk to people all day. And nursing provided that for me in a way. Uh, it's not just the conversations that I love, it's the listening, the exchange of ideas, the relationship building, the learning. Talking is such a simple thing but the possibilities are endless. So here I am going through a pretty major life transition over the last couple of years, leaving the working world, trying to find a place to live that we both love and that we can afford, all while starting my little project. When I originally came up with my little project, I thought of it as a way to keep our travel memories. And then when I thought about going on YouTube, I thought that I really needed to niche into talk, into travel, into eat, because that's what YouTube wants. However, my life wasn't really in sync with that the way I thought it was when I actually came up with the concept several years ago. So <laughs> this is my long-winded way of telling you that even though I'm gonna change the name, the videos are gonna be pretty much the same. Now that we're feeling a little bit more settled here in Bangkok, I'm hoping I can achieve what it is I want to achieve with this channel, that is getting out of my comfort zone and letting you guys really get to know me and me getting to know you. Um, I don't wanna limit myself to just three categories because there's just so much more <laughs> that goes around in this head that I wanna bring out to you guys. So with that, I'm gonna say 
farewell to Top Travel Eat and hello to What's Up with Kirsten. As always, <laughs> thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.